Hey guys, welcome to another video. Oh, <coughs> sorry. If you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Phil, head of the Scattered Shadows. And today we're going to talk about The Flash, Season 5, ending. And how that kind of set up for like, kind of like the not next, uh, season. Well, obviously the next season, but... What I mean is for the Flash's disappearance, because that's always been a big thing in the Flash. It the with Barry Allen disappearing, and it always been like what forty years in the future, so like twenty fifty something, like thirty. 40 years in the future, about. So, pretty much, you see, at the end of the season finale for season 5, and I'm assuming that you guys seen it, which is why I'm not, didn't give you guys a spoiler warning, is that, besides having it, it being like 20, 30, 40 years in the future, where Barry Allen it disappears. It went back all the way to 2019. I forgot the exact date, but 2019, which is this year. As I'm recording this, this year. And to be honest, I guess that they're setting up as Oliver Queen and Barry Allen disappearing at the same time. So... My thing is, if Barry Allen disappears, there is leaving it in off two ways. First, which I'm kind of hoping they won't do, because Arrow is going to end after the next season, which is season 8. But they're either setting up for the series finale for The Flash, or... They're setting it up where Wally could potentially be the next Flash. You know, as kind of like a mini graduation from him being Kid Flash to being the Flash. Now, if that happens, if uh, Wally, uh, being Barry's brother-in-law, then that will... Uh, be interesting. Because, yeah, they could easily, at some point, because it's been rumored that Stephen Mill would be willing to return as Alfred Queen down the line. Which opens up to the fact that Alf, the Arrow, after Season 8, after some time has passed, can get picked back up for Season 9. Wally West could be the Flash for, like, what, a season... Maybe two, and then until Barry comes back. Maybe when Barry comes back, that's when Oliver Quinn comes back. And maybe if when Oliver Quinn comes back, that's when Arrow comes back. I don't know. Or maybe he'll they'll go down like twenty years in the future, where uh, now we could see Oliver. Uh, Talking to uh, William and uh, his daughter, his and Felicity's daughter. But in terms of the Flash getting away from Arrow for a second, yeah, it could, like I said, it could be a sign that the Flash, this version Flash, could be ending, like the series could be ending next season or like I said could be easily setting it up where Wally West is going to be the new Flash I mean they kind of hinted that Wally West was the Flash in like season 4 of the Flash and uh, in the comic books well, you know, in the TV show, The Flash, there's Barry Allen, Jay Garrett, 
uh, Jesse Quick, even Iris, and uh, all were the Flash. I mean, Jesse Quick, okay, not so much, but I'm counting Iris as one of the versions of the Flash because she always says, okay, Barry, we are the Flash. But, uh, and you can kind of say while he was because he is Kid Flash, but, you know. So it'd be kind of cool to see Wally West becoming, uh, the Flash. I mean, uh, I think there would be some good storytelling in there. Like, uh, obviously, like, at least half the season when Wally becomes the Flash, Team Flash coping with the whole, uh, uh, Barry being lost somehow. Uh, of course, this will be like a. Let's see. So next season. So we just got done with like season five of the Flash. So it'll be like season seven by the time this happens. So uh, pretty much have this season. The Flash team Flash trying to find. Their meaning. Without Barry Allen. While trying to face the new season's feeling and then the other. Kind of their own gist of things. Kind of creating their own style. Which is cool. I mean. Like I said. Having Wally West becoming the Flash. At least for a season or two. Has so much. Good story. And you can kind of take. Off. From like this first episode of season four. That they were hinting. At the fact that Wally West was going to be the Flash in the Arrow first soon. But, uh... Well, that ended in Flashpoint, where he was the Flash in Flashpoint, practically. So... And, it, like I said, you can kind of, in a sense, get away with saying, Oh, that could have been a nod to Wally West potentially being the new Flash in this Arrow first. But, you know... Could be. I don't know. But regardless. Yeah, I'm hoping for that. Uh, To come out with, like I said, Wally West. After Barry Allen's disappearance. Becoming the new Flash. Having us see him. At least for his season. Uh, before they decide to uh, cancel the show. Or whatever. But, you know, I don't know. This is just me theorizing, speculating. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that them p p pushing the timetable up from whatever year to 2019 when the Flash disappears, a sign that A, Wally West will become the new Flash and be the new star of the Flash? Or two, do you guys think that that is a sign that next season, just like with Arrow, is going to be the Flash's final season. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.